Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can optimize your keys to adjust your base motion curve, while using AccuPose to add more dynamic animation on top of the base layer. Here we have a captured mocap motion of a punch that has already been cleaned up to get rid of any jittering. The first thing I want to do here is to adjust the initial angle of the punch to present more of a downward trajectory. So let's search for the forearm and take a look at the X rotation. In cases like this, it's always good to right click on a specific control point and show its motion trail to give you a better visual reference. If we bring the specific X rotation key to a higher value, you can see how it affects the position of the character's right arm in the viewport. The initial results will be way too jerky, so we would normally need to bring up a few of the previous keyframes to create a smoother motion. However, we can also use the Optimize feature to create smoother and more dynamic curves. We can find this under the Filter menu, and you'll note that in Preview mode, we can see much less keyframes immediately. A smaller threshold value here will eliminate less keys, while a larger value reduces more keys but can lead to more distortion of the original motion. The area we want to focus on here though is the wind up and release of the punch. To do so, we can select the specific range and apply the filter once again. Now we can adjust the threshold value according to our needs of that specific range and manually tweak the keys for the windup to give it more energy. Let's look at a similar situation for the waist to give it more twisting energy. For this one, we'll focus on the hip Y rotation value and once again use the Optimize filter to give us fewer keyframes to make adjustments easier. I can then manually tweak the remaining keyframes to give us a more dynamic windup, creating a more energetic punch. Okay, next let's look at AccuPose on top of the base layer. It's important to note that any curve animation data using Optimize is baked into the base motion. This gives us an additional layer of adjustment before adding manual key edits with AccuPose. Now with AccuPose open using the Street Fighting Training model, I can constrain control points that I don't want to move and move others in sequence to give a much more dynamic looking initial pose. You can use the reset function at any time to restore the motion back to the original data stored in the motion clip. Also, if you deselect the condition checkbox under base layer, it will not apply any of the edits we made with the curve editor earlier using the optimize function. Finally, with it enabled, you can also use the weight slider to determine how much blending intensity is applied from your edits. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, combining the Curve Editor with AccuPose and the Animation Layer Editor is a powerful combination that gives you more control and customization over your motions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.